All right, welcome back. So I'm tracking just a couple of showers located to the north and east over portions of Cecil County heading up into the Delaware Valley. They're associated with an area of low pressure that is pushing on out. And guess what? We're going to get some clearing as we head into the overnight hours. Here's the silver lining. We have made some serious progress when it comes to the rainfall deficit that we've had during the month of May. Right now, we're just over a tenth of an inch below average. We've got three and a half inches of rain, so those gardens are looking good and lush, or at least they will be, and the farmers very happy as well agriculturally. 55 degrees right now in BWI, Thurgood Marshall Airport. The official high today was 57. That is significantly below average for this time of year. And we could think winds coming in out of the east and also the north that have just been pulling in some very chilly, unseasonably cold air for us. And unfortunately, that is going to set us up for a very cold night. So we'll look for overnight low temperatures. Well above freezing, but just too cold for late May, almost early June. It's in just a couple of days. Overnight lows in the 40s from Baltimore, areas north, and then areas south. We'll have a couple of spots peppered across the map, making it to around 50 or 52 degrees. High pressure is going to be moving into control. This is going to be our friend as we head toward... Memorial Day tomorrow, there's the pesky area of low pressure that brought us this rainy, yucky weather and that east wind that just made it feel oh so cold out there over the past couple of days. So it's looking a lot better for us as we head into tomorrow. Not only are we going to be warmer, but the sunshine is going to return as well. Plenty of sunshine in the forecast tomorrow. You can look for a high temperature right around 76 degrees and also looking better down the ocean, Han. 71 degrees. It has not been nice the past couple of days at the beach, but it's looking a lot better for tomorrow. Maybe you can uh, take your toes, stick them in the sand, and enjoy at least a nice walk on the beach. 71 is looking good. Morning fog. That'll fast forward to plenty of sunshine. Let me illustrate how things just clear on out. Heading into the overnight, we'll see that area of low pressure pulling away off to the north and east. High pressure builds in, brings us that sinking air, inhibits cloud formation, and we'll see a lot of sunshine. Let's show you a look at the seven day forecast. I told you 90s are going to be returning. 80 degrees on Tuesday, Wednesday. D looking good. 83 Thursday, couple chances for showers and storms. 90 by next Sunday, max.